like the face of a celebrity. This has been an icon for everybody. The profile of the root beer stand is among one of the most recognized in town. They can't wait for it to open in the spring. <laughs> as soon as it opens, the cars know it. Everybody's so friendly and nice. You meet people. Debbie Hayes says the root beer stand in Sharonville spans more than years. It's better measured in generations. Some of the younger ones just learning about it. My grandson just come here last week for the first time. He said, Nana, have you ever been to Sharonville root beer stand? I'm saying, Jacob, where have you been? I'd like a football and a large root beer. We were here as the root beer stand celebrated its 60th anniversary in 2017 as it opened for the season. Next season, there will be something different. One thing will not be the same as it's always been. Mick Reidenauer, the man who, with his wife and in-laws, started the root beer stand in 1957, will not be around to see it. He was a teacher and operated it in the summer. He was a medic during World War II. He passed away Sunday at the age of 93. His daughter Sue Knight tells us he was a great father and would have been happy to see how many people his life has touched. But at the root beer stand, the facade is the same as it's always been. No facelifts here. Still looks the same, exactly the same. They have kept this place impeccable, really. If we I mean, could all say the same thing, <laughs> yeah. it would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> you got it. Now we're told that the current owners will operate the root beer stand as they always have when it opens back up in the spring, just as Mr. Ridenauer would have liked. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.